Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Luis Patalo, PGA member here in the Northern California section. Uh, this is my video series uh, designed for people during the lockdown and staying safe from coronavirus. And if you like my content and you want to see more, please hit the subscribe just below the video. And also if you want to see more content, ring the bell and that will alert you when I put a new video up. Also, any comments or any questions that you guys have out there, please put them below and I'll do my best to answer all of them. So today, I'm gonna to talk about the swing plane. And this is something that is widely spoke about, lots of different opinions. I will never claim that my opinion is the only one out there, but it will be something that will make this a little easier for you. And it's gonna be easy because you can do it at home, doesn't require a ball or a golf club. So here in my living room, I've got this wall here, and this is gonna help me with the way that I wanna swing the golf club. This will highlight every single flaw in a golf swing. So the way this is set up is I'm gonna use this wall as my target line, and I'm gonna take my posture, and I'm gonna put my hands where they would be on my golf club, and I'm gonna rest them against the wall. So we know that during the golf swing, we are trying to make a circular motion. So the way that we're gonna do this is when we get set up here, we wanna to try to feel that our left shoulder is gonna move our arms away from the wall. So you can see here that now the club is directly on plane. As we work up to the top, we can see we can get into a really correct circular position where the left arm from here is arcing through the right shoulder. Now from here, I'm gonna point out a common flaw that I see. The right shoulder starts to drop, the club head gets lost behind the body, and then the arms try to flip into the impact zone. The problem, and you can see that there, when I try to flip here, this is, this is stopping me from doing that. So what that allows me to do is when I get back up to the top here, I'm gonna to try to move my body a little more rotary. So as the arms start to drop, the body isn't gonna dip, but the right shoulder's gonna turn. This is gonna get my hands back to impact correctly. From here, if I keep turning, you can see my arms and my body keep connection and they arc the swing off into a correct finish position. So if we do that all at once, you can actually see that I can maintain correct positionings through the golf swing. That's my tip of the day. Have fun out there, but please, more importantly, stay safe. 